Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to math. Today we're going to cover parallelograms. I hope you guys know what they are. If not, it's okay. A parallelogram looks something like this. Okay. You might not be able to look really good because of the lighting. and But anyways, notice that the sides are a little slanted. Okay. So we're going to draw one on the board here. All right, so we have our parallelogram on the board. We're also gonna label this parallelogram. Label it A, B, C, and D, okay? When it comes to parallelogram, guys, opposite sides are always, always the same. Meaning, the opposite angle, so angle A, equals angle D, okay, so angle A and angle D, they're opposites, they equal each other, okay? They're the same measurement. So if angle A equals 80 degrees, that means that angle D also equals 80 degrees, okay? Same with C and B, they're opposites again, they're equal the same. The same exact thing happens with the sides, okay? So if AC, the side, equal 120, then the side for BD also equals 120, okay? So this side and this side are the same. The horizontal sides are the same. Now, make sure you write it down. Make sure you have the notes, okay? All right, now that you have it on your piece of paper, let's go ahead and do an example. Okay, so we're gonna do another parallelogram, okay? Again, we're gonna label it A, B, C and D. On our example, okay, the top, meaning A, B is 2X, okay, our bottom is 34. If we wanted to find that variable x, we know that we have to say, all right, 2x equals the opposite side, which in this case is 34. If we're trying to solve for x, we divide by 2. So x equals 17, okay? Now, when it comes to the angles, you still do the same thing, okay? Let's say, for example, we have 8B for A, for angle A is 8B, angle D, in this case, is 112 degrees. If we're solving for that angle B, we have to do the same exact thing. We can say AB equals 112. If we're solving for B, we divide by 8, right? So B equals, anybody? No? All right, let's do it the old-fashioned way. We have 8, 1, 12. 8 can go into 1, 0 times. 8 can go into 11. 
one time. We subtract 8 from 11. When we bring down the 2, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we have 3. How many times can 8 go into 32? Anybody? Maybe 2, maybe 3, maybe 4. Hint, hint, 4, 4. So your answer for B is 14, okay? So notice that the rule, like I said again, okay? Let's do a little summary. The rule for parallelograms is all your different, all your sides, okay, across from each other are the same. The same with the angles. The angle that is across from each other, they are the same, okay? All right, so make sure you write down the notes. If you have any questions, go ahead, make sure you send an email. Let me know, Mr. Rivera. I have a question. I still don't understand it. We can work something out, do some other examples together. Okay, so you get a little more hang of it. All right, guys, so here's your assignment for today. All right, the assignment for today is we have this parallelogram labeled again A, B, C, and D. Okay, looks kind of funny. It's okay. This is not our class. Might be a little let's land on this side, but it's okay. It's still parallelogram. We're going to say that we have 3x on side AC and BD is 60, okay? We're also going to have angle B be 60 degrees, angle C is going to be 2 why? Okay, make sure you solve for both variables for x and you also solve for y. Okay, make sure you submit your answers as soon as you're done watching the video, and I'll be waiting for your email.